Trump News Now. Gag Trump. He has his surrogates say forbidden things. After his 10th gag order breach in his Manhattan criminal trial last week, Donald Trump has been reasonably disciplined. He avoids three banned topics that have landed him in trouble before to avoid incarceration. They would assault the jurors, witnesses, and judges' family. When he ran for president in 2016, Donald Trump received monthly updates on efforts to cover up lurid articles about him and personally signed off on a scheme to fabricate records linked to them, his former lawyer Michael Cohen told jurors at Trump's criminal trial on Monday. Cohen was one of Trump's closest legal aides before becoming president and now fiercely criticizes him. Cohen testified that Trump knew about hush money payments made to two women who claimed sex with him before the 2016 election. GOP presidential nominee pleads not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. He denies doing sex with women. The prosecution's narrative centers on Cohen, who made a hush money payment. To quiet Stormy Daniels, he paid $130,000 out of his own pocket in October 2016. Cohen offered the money to protect Trump, who urged him to delay the Daniels deal and just get beyond the election. I'll be president if I win, so it won't matter. Trump said, I won't care if I lose, Cohen reported. Prosecutors allege Cohen tried to hide the Daniels deal by misclassifying 11 Trump payments from the following year as attorney costs. Cohen testified that Trump approved his reimbursement. Defense attorneys will likely assault Cohen's credibility when they interview him. His plea to federal charges for the Daniels payment and lying to Congress came in 2018. Cohen confessed lying under testimony in other cases in a separate Trump legal action last year. Cohen will testify again on Tuesday as prosecutors continue. How his first day of testimony went. 9.23 a.m. What the Trump trial is about. First, jurors viewed the case's essence in simple graphics on Friday, 34 criminal business record falsification charges. A check, invoice, or voucher for a 2017 monthly legal services payment to Cohen matches each count. Each document hit its true purpose, a monthly reimbursement for Cohen's hush money payment to Daniels, to keep voters from discovering it, prosecution said. A packed courtroom for a key witness. Trump's entourage has the first two rows on the defense side of the gallery. Secret Service and aides like Boris Epstein sometimes fill the chairs. Those seats are filled today as the case's crucial witness, a Trump foe, takes the stand. Trump, his son Eric, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, New York Representative Nicole Maliotakis, Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville, and Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd entered the room frowning. Both rows on the other side of the aisle are practically packed. They include Alvin Bragg, Manhattan DA. He has only attended sections of this trial, usually being in the room when his workers testified, Cohen called to testify first. As expected, Cohen is the fifth-week trial's first witness. Once Trump's right-hand guy, he may testify that Trump committed offenses and help prove his guilt. He attended court in a navy blue suit and pink tie. District Attorney Prosecutor Susan Hoffinger leads questioning.